just talk. I have to All right. <laughs> so, have you ever had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day? Has <laughs> anyone ever had a day like that? <laughs> Well, I know a boy named Alexander who had a day like that. I'm going to read you just a little bit of his story. Alexander says, In the carpool to school, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. But nobody answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend, and Albert Moyo was his next best friend, and I was only his third best friend. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for Mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud, and Nick said that I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car, and she scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody, but nobody even answered. That must not have felt very good for Alexander Hahn. He was having a pretty crummy day, and nobody was even listening to him. Would that make you sad? It would make me sad. Have you guys ever had a day like that, where you're having a bad day, and nobody seemed to care or to listen? Yeah. Well, you know what? Our Bible story tells us that Jesus had some pretty terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days too. Did you know that? When we have a horrible, terrible, no good day, we're not alone. When Jesus was here on earth, he had people make fun of him. He had people yell at him. And he even was killed on the cross. He did that for us so that we could be near him forever and we could go to heaven. So, when we're having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, and we feel like we're all alone, and like nobody's listening to us, we can talk to Jesus. Because he understands. Because he's been through some terrible, no good, very bad days. And he will listen to us, and he will give us peace, and we can know that we're not alone, even when everything seems really, really crummy. Is that pretty awesome? Yeah. I think that's pretty awesome. So, this goes for all of us, not just you kids. It's good for, good for all of us to know that when we feel alone and when we feel crummy and we feel like everything is going so bad and everything is so terrible and horrible and no good and we just don't know what to do, then we can talk to Jesus about it and he'll understand. So let's pray and let's thank him for that. Dear God, Dear God, thank you. Thank you for sending Jesus. For sending Jesus. Because he had terrible. Because he had terrible. Horrible. Horrible. No good. No good. Very bad days. Very bad days. We know. We know that he understands. That he understands when we go through tough times. When we go through tough times. Thank you. Thank you that we are not alone. That we are not alone. Thank you for loving us so much.